Today I'm out here on Broad River once again. Uh, I'm going for Cobia again. I think this is probably my fourth time out here on my kayak. Last time I was out here, I had a couple chances to sight cast Cobia and I just didn't catch them. Uh, today this, I'm gonna go with the same plan that I've been doing every time, is anchoring up at first and throwing bait on bottom trying to catch a live bait and then once the tide stops I'll be moving around trying to sight cast at things. It's really cloudy today and there's a slight chance of rain but besides that the wind is really calm so it should be a good day as long as it doesn't rain. I have this about the same tide as last time I was out here it's a high incoming tide. I think I got like three hours of the tide coming in right now. So the current might be pretty strong right now, but it'll slow down eventually. There's tons of dolphins out right now. Today I really want to land another cobia. I know the last time I hooked one for like a second, but I really want to land another one today. So that's my goal is to land a cobia. So that's the Broad River Bridge right up there. Uh, while I'm making my way there, I'm trolling my, I'm trolling my bucktail behind me. I'm in 37 and a half feet of water, and the water temperature is 80 degrees. Black calm out on the Broad River today. It's taken me a while to get up to this bridge, so current is still pretty strong right now. Got something on the bait pole. a little spade fish. I don't think these are good bait for cobia so I'm just gonna throw it back. I think this is another spade fish. Fun of a good fight. Yeah. Well, I hope these aren't like amazing cobia bait and I'm just throwing them back. So my anchor was holding really good for a while, uh, then it started moving, so now uh, I just moved to a different spot right here, anchor is holding for now, throwing my baits back out, caught a couple of spade fish up there where I was anchored up, but I don't really think they're good bait, good live bait at least. I'm on here. Oh, there we go! The perfect size whiting. Not the same as the last one I used to catch a cobia on. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rig him up on the cork again, and then I'm gonna throw this back out, try to catch more, and I'm gonna reel the big one in and try to get two live baits out at the same time. 
This is the same setup that I used to catch the cobia on. Really light, 20 pound line with the 80 pound leader. 3,000 pin pursuit combo, seven foot rod. gonna hook it the same way I did last time because that's just what worked for me last time. I'm just hooking it in the top of the mouth. That's usually a really good way for it to stay on the hook. It still it stays alive like really long too because my last one stayed alive really long. All right I'm gonna throw this one out. Hopefully it doesn't pull the cork under too much. I'm gonna let it float out there pretty good distance before I close the bail. Now I'm gonna try to catch another one and throw it on a different pole. All right, so we have an hour until high tide now. So pretty much have another hour of anchoring up. And then we'll start moving around sight casting. Okay, got something on the bait pole again. Feels kind of heavy. I don't know what this is going to be. Spade fish again. I really hope these aren't like amazing bait. And I'm just throwing them back. Wow, okay, while I was messing with that spade fish, something hit the, hit the live bait. And I accidentally turned the camera off. Oh my god. I don't, I have no idea what that was. Uh, this is 80 pound fluorocarbon line and it like just bit right through it. I guess. Definitely didn't come untied. Yeah, it's like cut right through it. Okay, since I don't have a, another whiting right now, I guess it's not gonna hurt to at least give this a try. Gonna put the spade fish on, float it out there. Uh, I'm afraid it's gonna pull the cork down a lot more than the whiting, but let's see. This isn't like too big of one. I mean, I haven't, I don't, I guess I don't see why a uh, cobia wouldn't hit this. Also, I'm still really confused on what bit through that line. This is like a heavy bait though. Yeah, cork's not even gonna stay. It's fine though. Let's float it out there a little bit. Still just mad that something bit straight through 80 pound fluorocarbon. I guess unless it was a shark, then I wouldn't be that upset, but I don't know what else would have done that. Okay, it's like 30 minutes until high tide. I really want to catch a live whiting before high tide hits. Okay, so nothing has hit this uh, little spade fish yet. So I'm gonna just let it sit here in the water right next to me while I throw a cut mullet on bottom for a little bit.
Wow, there's something pretty big on the bait bowl. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's not a shark. Wow, it's putting up a good fight <laughs> for this little pole. Oh, it's a big bait fish. <laughs> it's the biggest bait fish of the day. Wow. Pretty good sized bait fish. Okay, so it's high tide right now. I don't have a live bait, but it's time to start moving around and looking for cobia. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time when I got that hit. I'm gonna put a five inch gulp swimming mullet on this two ounce bucktail. It's really cloudy out, so it's actually hard to see down in the water right now. but you can still kind of see. So it's been a while now and I haven't seen any fish yet, but I'm gonna keep trying. Uh, I really want another chance to catch a live bait right now. So without anchoring up, I'm gonna try. I think it's gonna be really hard to catch anything besides spade fish right now because I see them everywhere. There's just spade fish everywhere. As soon as I drop it down, I'm getting hits. There you go, I'm pretty sure there's another spade fish. They're everywhere. Yep. Even if I wanted to use one of these as a live bait, this one's probably too big anyways. Okay, let's see how fast I can catch a spade fish right here. It's on bottom, it's already getting a hit. There it is. Just instantly. That one's a little bit smaller. But I'm still, I'm just not gonna bother trying to use a live bait. I was using one earlier. Didn't have any luck. This is the end of my fishing day. I caught a bunch of spade fish. I caught a live whiting, a really perfect size live bait, and something hit that and broke off my 80 pound fluorocarbon. I have no idea what that was other than just a shark. I moved around a lot when the tide stopped and looked around for cobia. I didn't see a single cobia. Uh, I barely saw any bait on the surface either, so I didn't have any good sight casting opportunities if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe thank you for watching